Hello Aries, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, welcome if you're new. We're gonna be doing a who is coming towards you bonus reading. So we're just gonna look at who or what is coming towards you in love. Um, this is a reading that's great for those of you that are single or are already in a connection of some sort. Uh, keep in mind though that it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So check out your other placements if you wanna get additional messages. I'll have um, the link to all the different playlists in the description box so you can check out your other uh, placements. So let's jump right in. For Aries, spirits, angels, guides, what messages, guidance, insight do you have for Aries regarding love? Who is coming towards Aries in love? What can Aries expect in love? Who is coming towards Aries? Who is coming towards Aries? In love. Okay, we got spirit, guided and protected. So whoever's coming towards you, it's I feel it's divinely guided. They're being guided to you. What else do we need to know for Aries? Who is coming towards them in love? romantic charming and passionate so this they could be someone that's very um romantic in nature you know i'm getting this energy of like um they surprised you in a good way maybe this person typically isn't romantic or they are very romantic at least when it comes to you maybe that's not typically their nature or something like that it's or maybe you're just not used to someone that is so charming so passionate so romantic right let's see what else do we need to know for aries If you're interested in any of these decks are linked in the description box you could check them out tell me what is coming towards Aries in love who or what is coming towards Aries in love spirit closed off who's coming towards Aries in love guarded resistance defense of being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities and time out so what I'm getting here is um, this could be somebody that you haven't been in contact with for some time or it just hasn't been the right time for this to happen you know both of those messages make sense to me at this point you know closed off could be that maybe you haven't been very open to love recently maybe you close yourself off from love from dating or from this person but I feel like this has happened over time because I have time out here. So there's something here with timing. And now I have time out and spirit. So this could be divine timing, something that's happening at the right time. We'll see what we get with the tarot. What does Aries need to know, spirit? Who or what is coming towards Aries in love? Who is coming towards Aries? Love, who is coming? Oh. Who is coming towards Aries? Who is coming towards Aries? In love. Okay. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Swords, Two of Wands. Interesting. I feel like there's someone coming forward to communicate, to talk. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, Reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's something that could have happened here already. I don't know if it was with between you and this person, Aries, or just in general where it, you know, love has been just disappointing, heartbreaking, you know, it just hasn't really worked out for you or um i don't know it's just you haven't had a really good go at it um you know if this is someone that you've already been involved with then maybe things didn't work out between you let's get some insight here 
Now with this four of swords, you know, I am getting like closed off that closed off energy. Someone that is not communicating, not uh, taking action, just thinking. So we'll see um, what that's all about because I feel like this is someone that's had to choose to do this with the two of wands. Like if they are taking the initiative towards something with the page of wands or if they are opening up with the king of swords, they're choosing to do that. It is a it is a conscious choice. So let's see. I feel like whoever's coming towards you, um, it's going to be in the form of like a message, or there will be uh, important communication that takes place here with the King of Swords and the Page of Wands. So let's see. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What does Aries need to know about this Page of Wands? Justice, Libra energy, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely communication here. Could be dealing with the Libra or another um, air sign because I have the King of Swords here. Can I get one more for the Page of Wands? Four of Pentacles. So, okay, so, okay, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Well, this Four of Pentacles, again, I'm getting someone holding back, protecting themselves, guarding themselves, keeping something to themselves and with temperance it's like this has been going on for a while like time has passed here um i'm getting with temperance and justice every time i see these two energies together i immediately think of balance uh balance that takes time um and i feel like i don't know this four of pentacles it's almost like I have a source behind that it's almost like whatever they've been holding on to or holding back um they've been doing it for a while tell me about this four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here why is the four of pentacles here yeah, Six of Pentacles. So this is about balance. This is a, someone's holding on to the idea of balance or is hoping that they can balance out something here. Although, you know, it, it, again, I don't feel like I can give a definitive inter interpretation here because I feel like it's not so simple. So whenever that happens, it's almost like spirit doesn't want me to narrow down like the focus on something so for example that could be like maybe i'm talking to two groups of aries or something like that because every time that i want to be like it's this i i get this kind of like message that it's it's really not just that <laughs> um so okay so the two messages that i got for this was the first one that i just said was someone holding on to the idea of rebalancing a situation um, with justice and the six of pentacles, this is someone giving to something, making things right. But I don't know how that's possible if they are holding back, right? So it's it's almost like for what, if, if someone does want to balance things out, they've been holding back for some reason. So how can you balance something when you're not really there participating? Do you know what I mean? So it's like there's more to this than just someone making things right. It's like they want to make things right, but that would require them to actually come in and participate and be a part of your life. And I don't feel like they are right now. This could be somebody that, for example, is has been your friend, but they've never crossed that line to be more than your friend. But, you know, it's almost like they're always on the outside with that thought. Um, I'm getting like... I can't narrow down my word. Like I can't <laughs> simply, like simply uh, explain this, which is very interesting because usually I can just explain something, but it's almost like this person doesn't even know how to communicate what they feel. Okay, let's keep going because I feel like I don't want to get stuck on just a page of wands. But I feel like this is going to be a reading that it's 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 a even though it doesn't seem like it right now, it's going to be a very specific reading. Um. I just can I, I get the sense that this is not going to be resonating with every Aries because I feel like whoever this is, they've been apart from you 
or closed off from you in some way. And I don't know if it's because you removed yourself, they removed themselves, or communication has been closed off, but they've been holding on to something. Either they've been holding on to something that they should tell you, or they're holding on to an idea of like being with you or fixing things, right? So let's see why the Four of Swords then, right? <laughs> it's like this back and forth uh, that I'm getting here. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So yes, they would have to communicate openly and honestly and address something. And I feel like this would lead to a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. I feel like they're thinking about what to say because they don't know what to say yet. And I feel like I, I've been all over the place on with this reading and it's like that's probably their energy. They can't narrow down like what they truly want or what they want to say. Why is the King of Swords here? <clears throat> what What is this King of Swords? have to say what's this about ace of cups another ace and the four of cups see i get this sense of someone that's like they're not sure about this with the four of cups maybe they're a bit it's like they feel like whatever they say or whatever this conversation is it's very important it's going to make or break the situation right can i get one more for the king of swords this person's very nervous, very anxious. Um, I, I, again, I get the feeling that for some of you, you've never been with this person romantically, but for others you have, but it's been, there's been such a long time between when you were, I, I guess when you interacted or something like that, that it's almost like a nervous energy of like someone talking after a really long time. Um, and it's like, you know, how will Aries receive me? Tell me about the King of Swords. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is all connected. There's the um, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like whatever they're telling you, they haven't told you. So if you are with this person, let's say you've been in a connection with this person, but you, some one of you closed off, right? Or um, you've been in a connection with this person and things have been just, you know, like a typical connection. Um, I don't feel like a lot of you are with this person right now, but let's say you are. I feel like whatever they're going to tell you, they, they haven't told you this before. It's, it will be new. Most of you, there's a disconnect between you and this person. Like I, I get like, um, a sense of like distance, like time, not distance, like physically, but time. Like there's been, it's been a long time since you've seen them, a long time since you've talked, a long time since you've interacted or something. Um, I feel like this person doesn't know how you're going to take this offer, which is kind of why I'm leaning more towards the fact that you and this person are not together. Because if you were together, they would kind of know how you would receive something. But anyways, take it as it resonates, Aries, because I feel like this will not resonate with everyone. So don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. I feel like this is someone coming in to talk to you after a really long time. Um... And when they do talk to you, it's like, I feel like they're going to surprise you with what they tell you or their their manner. Um, tell me about this two of wands. This reading has been all over the place, Aries. I apologize. <laughs> tell me about the two of wands, Spirit. Why is the two of wands here? Nine of pentacles. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? The hangman. See, this is somebody that needs to decide this. This choice is very important. I feel with the hangman and the four of swords, this person has been thinking about this, thinking about this, thinking about this, but they haven't done something yet. That's why this choice is so important. Tell me more about this two of wands. Yeah, knight of cups. It's almost like they're deciding to communicate this. Now, five of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So I have a feeling that you and this person, there's some sort of difficulty here. Um, either things didn't end very well or there's multiple people involved. Maybe there's been drama. Um, this could be an apology if it's the Knight of Cups with the five of wands. Can I get one more? For this two of wands. Can I get one more, please? 
Yeah, the world. This will begin everything. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. This would set... They would. This choice would set things in motion. They're going to tell you something. And it's going to start a chain reaction. I have three... No. Two aces here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the world. All about new beginnings. Page of Wands takes the initiative to start something new. King of Swords is someone that's very direct. There's no BS. Very clear communication. So whatever this is, you're not going to be confused by it. You're not going to be wondering what they're thinking. You're not going to be, you know, trying to figure out what it is that they're saying. It's going to be very direct. But this person, I feel like what, what's coming your way is someone that has decided to make this choice to tell you this, right? I really hope they do because I feel like they've gone back and forth about actually taking action here, actually reaching out. It's almost like they, uh, they're they talking themselves out of it. And I think it's because they know they have to tell you something, but they don't know how. And maybe this is where spirit comes in. Yeah, there's a seven of cups. This is what they're thinking. Like, this is how I've been this whole reading, just all over the place <laughs> with the seven of cups. Like, which way? How do I say this? How how do, How is this going to work, right? And then after that, I have the ace of pentacles with the chariot. So, you know, it's all about setting something in motion. It's not just going to be a conversation like, hi, Aries, how you're doing? That's not going to set anything in motion. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a conversation or a message that leads to a chain of 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 events or something like that. Like it starts something. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Um, hopefully this reading resonated or made sense to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.